of the Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Wolf. Great to be on again. A lot of folks think uh, Hillary Clinton missed an opportunity last night to apologize for calling half of Donald Trump's supporters, as you know, deplorables. Does she need to do more to show she respects people who have legitimate concerns about the current political system uh, and her place in it? I do think that Secretary Clinton respects those uh, who feel that they're on the outside and um, by the outreach that you just mentioned a few minutes ago, new ads featuring Republicans who are planning to vote for Hillary Clinton, uh, I think she is implicitly making just that point. But how can she try to fix the genuine concerns that Trump voters have when she paints so many of them with the same brush, calling them deplorables, whether racist, xenophobic, uh, all those other words she used? Well, I think it is important uh, for all of us, uh, Democrats and uh, Secretary Clinton, uh, to build a positive message about how uh, her policies, if she were elected president, would deal with the very real issues that lead to broad grassroots anger in this country, would address uh, wage growth and job opportunity, uh, deal with uh, a variety of challenges in terms of uh, the lack of a confidence about the future for their children uh, that makes a lot of folks turned off to modern politics and a lot of them concerned about uh, issues that have been raised in this campaign, whether it's trade deals or uh, law and order or uh, racial justice. Um, I do think Secretary Clinton uh, has spoken to those issues, but to your point, um, after her previous comment, perhaps she needs to step that up and be clearer that she welcomes former Trump supporters who've been turned off by his really reprehensible taped comments from 11 years ago. But you, you would support a, a more robust, sincere apology on her part to those su Trump supporters whom she branded as deplorable. Uh, well, Wolf, as you just reported earlier, the civil war within the Republican Party, which is only continuing to exacerbate, uh, creates terrific opportunities uh, for those who would like to work across the aisle. And Secretary Clinton, when she was a senator, uh, had a strong record of working across the aisle with Republicans. Um, so I do think stepping up that outreach makes a lot of sense. She uh, sort of punted when she was asked about those leaked comments that politicians have a public and a private position on certain issues. You heard in that report uh, from Jeff Zeleny, she invoked Abraham Lincoln ending slavery, uh, basically saying the ends justified the means. Doesn't that exemplify, though, the issue so many voters have as far as her honesty and trustworthiness? Well, I think these are two quite different issues. Uh, the very direct challenges uh, that Trump uh, leveled last night in St. Louis um, about uh, honesty and trustworthiness with his uh, threats to jail her, the sort of thing you really only hear uh, a dictator announce in an autocratic country, uh, to questions about how you best achieve political ends. The reason that she cited Lincoln, a famous movie, uh, was that in that movie, we see an example of one of our most admired presidents using different arguments with different members of Congress to achieve a positive goal. Um, I think it is the case uh, that folks in leadership, whether it's in business or in civil society or in politics, uh, make slightly different arguments, nuanced arguments to different audiences when they're pursuing a, a laudable public goal. Um, but it's important to stick to the same principle even when making different so, arguments. So let's say the context of those comments would clarify things from her perspective. Why doesn't she simply release the full transcripts from those Wall Street speeches? Uh, that's a fair question. Um, I don't know where these transcripts uh, have been coming from. Uh, as I think was mentioned last night in the debate in St. Louis, uh, there's real question about the origin of everything that's being leaked at the moment. Uh, the leaders of our intelligence community have suggested that the Russians who have hacked into a variety of different systems are selectively leaking them in order to influence our own elections. So why does you, so you agree, go ahead, just release the full transcripts so that the, the selective leaks won't necessarily be the final word? Well, it would seem to me that it's in everyone's best interest for us to reach across the aisle, to engage those who feel they're on the outside, to build some confidence uh, in, um, I think, the strongest candidate for President Secretary Clinton, um, and to release um, things that are now only known in portion. Trump uh, came into last night's debate uh, really reeling from that 2005 video in which he said all those awful things uh, with a lot of party leaders abandoning him left and right. Here's the question. Did Hillary Clinton miss an opportunity last night to land what some people believe could have been the knockout punch? 
Uh, well, I was in St. Louis for the debate last night. Uh, I didn't watch it on television. I was actually in the hall. And, and I got to tell you, it was a, it was a stunning uh, setting. Um, his hostility, uh, his not contrition, but aggression. Um, and uh, he's accusing her of all sorts of things, threatening all sorts of actions. Uh, he struck me as uh, nearly unhinged at a number of points of the debate last night. Um, I think Secretary Clinton reassured the American people that she's balanced, she's steady. Um, earlier in this show, you were talking about threatening behavior by both North Korea and Russia. Um, that reinforces for me uh, that whether on the debate stage or in the weeks ahead, having the steady hand of someone with great experience in international affairs like Secretary Clinton is what Americans want and need. We're going to uh, talk about how these candidates are dealing with Russia right now. Much more with Senator Chris Coons right after this. By 2050, we'll need twice the food from the same acreage to feed the world. That's going to take serious innovation. I'm John, research agronomist at Cope. We're challenging ourselves to create more advanced fertilizers that deliver nutrients to our crops more efficiently while respecting our environment so farmers can apply less and grow more. We are Coke. You need a website. Why not do it yourself? Wix Artificial Design Intelligence learns what you need and creates a stunning website with you, complete with images, videos, and text, tailor-made for you. Go to Wix.com today. I didn't realize how bad my smile was with fillings and root canals. I had to do something. I looked at partial bridges. I looked at dentures. Out of all the options, Clear Choice was the only choice for me. At Clear Choice, we bring hope to millions who suffer from missing or failing teeth with dental implants that look, feel, and function like strong, natural teeth. All the specialists with all the technology they need are in one spot. It makes delivering this 21st century world-class dentistry very easy to do, and we do it in one day. I can laugh, people crack a joke, and I smile. It was a life-changing thing. Call today to schedule your free comprehensive consultation and ICAT 3D imaging scan. We'll even talk financing options while you're here. They not only helped to rebuild my smile, but helped me to rebuild my self-confidence. They really set me free. I mean, look at this smile. At Clear Choice, you're about to discover what you've been missing all these years. Call Clear Choice today. Farm fresh ingredients, step by step recipes, delivered to your door for less than $9 a meal. Get $30 off your first delivery at blueapron.com/slash cook. Your brain is an amazing thing. But as you get older, it naturally begins to change, causing a lack of sharpness or even trouble with recall. Thankfully, the breakthrough in Prevagen helps your brain and actually improves memory. The secret is an ingredient originally discovered in jellyfish. In clinical trials, Prevagen has been shown to improve short-term memory. Prevagen, the name to remember. Remember when you said men are superior drivers? Yeah. Yeah. Then how'd I get this? Allstate Safe Driving Bonus Check. Only Allstate sends you a bonus check for every six months you're accident free. Okay. Uh -uh. Let's try. Silence. It's good to be in good hands. Okay, so what's our latest data say? Our customer's a 21 year old female heavily into basketball. Wait, data just changed. Now she's into disc sports. Uh, no, she's not. Since when? Since now. She's into Tai Chi. She found disc sports too stressful. Hold on, let me ask you this. What's she gonna like six months from now? Who do we have on Ariel Karate? Steve. Steve. And Alexis. Uh, no, just Steve. Just Steve. Just Steve. Live business powered by SAP. When you run live, you run simple. Why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Maybe it's because the director of the FBI said you lied about your email. There was classified material email. Or maybe it's because your policies have allowed ISIS and terrorism to spread. Or maybe it's because you call Americans deplorable. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Do you really need to ask? I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. BP engineers use underwater robots so they can keep watch over operations below the sea, even from thousands of feet above. Because safety is never being satisfied and always working to be better. 
Closed captioning brought to you by Gum Brand. Your gums matter. You can have healthy white teeth and still have gum disease. Use Gum Brand for healthy gums, soft picks, Proxy Brush cleaners, flossers, and dental floss. Gum Brand. For breaking news this hour, Hillary Clinton leading uh, Donald Trump by 11 points in a new national poll by NBC News and the Wall Street Journal. It was taken after the recording of Trump bragging about groping women went public, but before the second Trump-Clinton debate. We're back with Democratic Senator Chris Coons of Delaware. Uh, Senator, the Clinton campaign is now considering expanding efforts in states like Arizona, Georgia, Indiana, Missouri to help with so-called down-ballot races. Do you think there's a chance uh, Trump has given Democrats the opportunity to potentially take back control of the Senate and maybe even the House? Absolutely, Wolf. I think we now have a strong chance to not just take back the Senate, uh, but take back the Senate with a several vote margin. Uh, and for those who support Secretary Clinton, it's important to remember uh, that having control of the White House and not having control of the Senate makes it exceptionally hard for any president to advance his or her agenda. Um, the, the House is a much bigger um, margin in terms of Republicans and Democrats right now, uh, but there are more than a dozen seats that are now in play that were not in play even a few weeks ago. Uh, so the, the revelations about Donald Trump bragging about a sexual assault and the division within the Republican Party, the revulsion by many average voters that that's caused, um, certainly has changed the landscape for the election that's just a month away. On Syria, Senator uh, Cl Clinton reiterated her stance uh, against U.S. ground troops getting involved. She wants to continue using special forces, says she would consider direct arming of Kurdish fighters. You're on the Foreign Relations Committee. What do you make of that? How would that impact the U.S. relationship, for example, with Turkey, the overall balance in the region, and would it really make much of a difference? Well, we have to have competent ground forces that we can train, that we can work with, that we can equip, and that we can count on in order to take both Mosul in Iraq and Raqqa in Syria. If we're serious about defeating ISIS, we need to be serious about training, arming, and equipping credible ground forces. Uh, the Kurds, uh, particularly in northeastern Syria and um, in northern Iraq, have been some of the most able fighters on the battlefield. Uh, the question you raise, Wolf, about whether it would complicate our relationship with Turkey certainly is an important and pressing concern. Uh, we've had real tensions with Turkey uh, over their um, internal affairs, over the attempted coup and the response to it. Um, and it's vital that we also have uh, our NATO ally Turkey fighting alongside uh, regional forces as we begin to move on Raqqa in Syria. What about Putin? How should uh, she deal with Putin? Uh, forcefully uh, and decisively. And I think the answers that she's given uh, both in interviews and in the debate last night um, strongly suggest that the, she is far better prepared to stare down Putin uh, and to deal with his aggressiveness uh, both in Eastern Europe and Crimea, Ukraine, uh, and in the Middle East uh, than her opponent, Donald Trump. Um, throughout the campaign, uh, Donald Trump has really struggled to explain his public expressions of admiration for Putin. Uh, Putin, who is an autocratic uh, a thug, frankly, and who has invaded a neighboring country, um, who has uh, led uh, by um, killing, in many cases, uh, dissidents uh, and reporters, uh, and whose behavior in Western Europe uh, has led him to be sanctioned by most of our critical allies. To express admiration for this man and to say publicly uh, that he admires him more than our own President Barack Obama um, strikes me as uh, yet another point of proof that Donald Trump just isn't ready to lead this country. And Trump says he's a stronger leader than President Obama. Senator Coons, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Just ahead, uh, more